This is the start of my next epic adventure because tomorrow morning I fly to Seattle on the west coast of the United States and for the next 10 weeks I'm going to be cycling about 4,000 miles all the way to the southernmost point of Florida to Key West. Eight years ago, I cycled across the United States in the lead up to the 2016 presidential election. It was an election in which Donald Trump was elected and it was a fascinating time to travel slowly across the US. And that's the premise of this project and of my next book. I'm gonna be moving across the United States, passing through about 12 or 14 states and meeting as many people as organically as possible. What I wanna try and do is meet all of the so-called middle Americans who don't usually have their voices heard by the mainstream media. So farmers, fishermen, artists, musicians. I've been preparing myself physically for this journey for about the last six months. I hiked to the summit of the highest mountain in North Africa, Tubkal. I have been walking the length of Shetland right at the top of Britain. And more recently, I've been cycling around Sweden and also Northern Ireland. But tomorrow, I set off to begin this journey. It is going to be tough. It is going to be grueling. I've got to cross over the Rocky Mountains and then spend days and days on empty North American roads. At times, it's going to be roasting hot. But the idea of this project is to meet as many interesting folk as possible. They'll be included in these videos. They'll be included in a podcast that I'm making. And then also they'll feature in my book, which is coming out June or July next year. So please stay tuned. Please comment. Please keep me company on this epic journey across the United States.